Good morning Ibiza, I'm just uh, taking a walk down, we're going to have a little look around, see what the hype's saying. San Antonio is starting to get busy, all the bars and the restaurants and you can see the hotels behind me starting to stock up. Although that hotel's not even finished. I'm probably just putting a bit of railings on. Um, how's everyone been doing? I hope you've all been well. Um, there is going to be a lot of videos coming out over the next few days, as you probably already have seen. Um, yeah, I'm feeling positive, I'm feeling good. Have my wee burst in Barcelona for St. Patrick's Day. Fresh trim, feel good. And uh, yeah, hoping for a good year. So uh, let's get down to it. Take a wee ride here and see what's going down around the old Calor de Moro. That's Moro. So a few of the places definitely have a little bit of work going on. A lot of people standing around doing nothing. You need the Irish on the job. I'm curious to see if Frank's open. Oh well he is going to open but I'm curious to see if they're working on Alayoun. Uh, you'll remember Alayoun. Um, it's really quite tranquil. A cocktail place just here. Oh, I hear drills, I hear drills. I'll walk in and say hello. I hope he's here. Hello. There he is. I don't know if you remember this guy. Uh, hello. Hello, mate. What are you doing? Not much, just walking around, doing nothing as always. How's it's things? like walking a bit, hey? It's yeah, like looking to take shape. And stuff. So you don't just as well. you don't just open up. No, 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 no. no. Bit of work it's to like do. One May. We're going to be open in one May. First of May. Yeah. Yeah. So and have you, you any you changes or right? just keep? Yeah, we're going to be big change here. Yeah. Wait to see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look around. Well, it's obviously a bit of a building site. It looks different when you when you open. Yeah. yeah so yeah. for those that might not know. We done. Did we done one or two videos last year? Two videos. Do many people come from like subscribers? A lot. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> really? Wow. See, so, yeah, I just stay uh, walking past. Look at this place here. Obviously, it's winter and it needs to get a bit of a work. So normally people don't want to show it, but I, I like the fact that. You okay with me doing this? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, no yeah. It's a big place. Fixing that now, so no problem. And are you going to keep like, because I know last year I mentioned that you were like one of the few places around here that did not do a minimum spend. Is no, it still no, going to stay the yeah, same? Yeah, 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 100%. It's not a minimum to spend, always. Yeah, and I was saying like, obviously in the last video I'm going to show some shots of the place because I was just walking here yeah. before I seen you. Um, are you going to keep it to like cocktails, chilled out vibes? Or yeah, yeah, chilled out, yeah, sunset place basically. So. Yeah. So I went in, we're open in the daytime if one, someone wants to come, the kitchen is open always. It's going to be the same last year, yeah. but more things, more new things. Yeah, yeah, very good. So yeah, the 1st of May. How was the winter? Good, you? Yeah, I've had You're a good one. waiting for you to come to see me. I you? know. <laughs> this guy wants me to go to Morocco, so I'm thinking in the next couple of weeks I might take a wee trip to Morocco. But yeah, guys, if you are coming to Ibiza, just uh, come and check this place out. Like I said, it's called Alayoun. Apologize for the noise, but these vlogs are always natural and that's what's going on at the moment Yo, so that was uh, Alayoun and oh, it's, it's really annoying. So obviously I've just came out but before that uh, There was a pod of dolphins right here. So I've tried to get my phone out because this camera doesn't zoom just right here I would have been so sick for the vlog and a unique selling point for this place. So hopefully that sound was all right. Um, you can hear this work underway. That place will be open on the 1st of May. It's not far from Cafe Del Mar and Cafe Mambo. Um, you got the Wiki Woo Hotel here. And this is what was the Tanit Hotel Aku. So you get the idea where we are. So 
you can see behind me they're getting ready i just asked the guy if they're opening today it's mambo it's probably not going to be open until next month they did tell me i think 30 years as well but this is more if you're looking for like a party whereas alayun is like more sort of chilled out vibes oh, i love this time of year i love it look at cafe del mar the man himself when are you open good good i'm just making a wee video 28th of this month oh there you go i was just saying i didn't know when cafe del mar 28th see you there then all right So yeah, there's a real, uh, a real buzz. You can see, let's listen to that. I don't know if I can go up that way. Just want to show. Oh, that. Ooh, yeah. <coughs> it's all dusty. I've actually seen the plans for that hotel and it is, excuse my language, beautiful. It's Pepe's new restaurant. See, the down here is predominantly a bit more lively and minimum spend and stuff like that. I like just going to Alayun and sitting and chilling. Um, if anyone ever wants to meet up with me and stuff, I go there. I always get looked after with the guys at Alayun. I mean, I do as well with the other venues, actually, to be fair. But it's uh, it's just more chilled. Oh, I hope you're enjoying these videos. Um, they are very laid back, as quoted by Chris Moyles. Chris, if you're watching, I appreciate all the support. I'm actually having a meeting this week with regards to you. And hopefully we'll get you flew over and a gig and uh, we'll make a video together. It's been mad every time Chris Moyles mentions me on the radio, on Radio X, which is one of the biggest national radios in the UK. Um, it just goes mad. My followers just boom. It's coming up to the end of the raffle. So if you want to win a holiday to Ibiza, click on the link and I am going to pay for your flights accommodation uh, transfers to and from the airport two club nights whatever you want to choose and the tickets are in the what am I out of breath the tickets are below in the description and in the comments the reason I'm doing the raffle is to support the channel so that I can do these videos consistently and uh, obviously they take up a lot of time and the cost of living is just going mad you know my car actually doubled in price i have to give it back this week and i wanted to get a lease for another six months and they want double what i've paid in the winter which is mad skinny kitchen getting ready as well all right boys just making a wee video how's things oh good we good yeah 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 you're actually doing some work <laughs> I'm working, I'm, I'm making a video here. And I'll put you on camera. I'll go viral. So I call this uh, video, Is Ibiza Over? And that was just to capture all you people who are probably, if you've got this far in the video, you're probably fuming because it's far from over. This is the first time uh, I have ever seen Ibiza so busy in March. Things are opening in March. Normally, it was always like early May. Um, so, hey man, how are you? Do you wanna get a drink? Do you wanna go for a drink? I'm just making a video, I'll, co I'll come back. Um, so, yeah, I, sorry, I just, I was a guy, um, I don't want to show him on camera because he's um, I, th I think he's homeless I don't want to say he's homeless but he's a, he's a super nice guy I've just seen him there now so 
I'll, I'll make this video and then I'll go back and grab a drink with him. Um, so yeah, the video basically was to say that, well, hello lad. <laughs> oh, this is the problem now. Everybody fucking knows who I am. Um, so the video was meant to be about is Ibiza over? So yes, it's not over. It's far from over. In fact, it's never been so busy here. However, it's different. We can't deny that it's different. I had somebody comment on my video today saying, oh, 1993, there was no, um, what's it called, uh, promenade? And I was like, yeah, but that was, uh, that was like 30 years ago, man. That was my whole lifetime. So uh, we're just making videos and it's so hard to make videos because every time I'm trying to make videos in the public, everybody's shouting. <laughs> there we go again, somebody's shouting at me can't win so uh, yeah just uh, <laughs> try shut up will you What's that mean, bro? Do you, not hello, much hello lad, you, <laughs> hello, lad. Enjoy your day, bro. Oh, you enjoy your day I try to make a video that's four people in the last two seconds enjoy your video make sure you keep us on that video get me a cocktail pronto nah. So this is where the YouTube thing is going to get really hard. Um, I, I don't want to be negative. I just met a really nice guy from Ukraine who's come off a boat. And uh, I then I met like a girl, she was like half Belarusian, Russian, Polish, or Lithuanian. Anyway, it was just like, they were super nice, but it was very overwhelming. And, uh, yeah, it gets to that point now where everybody knows you on YouTube. So it's quite hard to make videos because everyone's shouting at you if they don't just driving by and stuff. So, ah, uh, it's, it's, nice it's, a, it's a nice and a bad feeling. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, but anyway, I don't know where I am with the vlog. Where was I going with it? I was talking about how the island is changing and I feel like I'm under pressure now I don't know anyway that's flattered <laughs> Do you know I'm gonna go go somewhere where I don't know anybody and just chill out and uh, try and get five minutes to think about what this vlog was about because and they weren't bad they were so nice they were so su super nice but um yeah, it was overwhelming. I was just spent an hour talking to people about something I didn't really know what I was talking about. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm so confused. I, I had to leave the restaurant. I had to like pay for a bill and just get out of there because, and like I said, they weren't they weren't rude. They were the most the nicest people I've ever met. But it was overwhelming. How do you know me? Why? Why are you from Russia? Why are you from Ukraine? Well, how do you know me? So, um, yeah, yeah, it, it can be. It can be really, really fucking difficult. To... That was intense. That was intense. I'm sorry if I, if that sounds negative. You'll see whenever when I was initially making the video. Ah. Ugh.